Ah. Oh no. Ah. YouTube struggles. The struggles are real. Oh. Uh. Yikes. Well, that's pretty cool at least. Hey kids, welcome to this second part of a four part series in which I build the new beating heart of my workshop. Uh, the basic idea here is to have my table saw, my router table, uh, and my jointer all in one place, uh, right in the middle of the shop, able to be moved around and whatnot. Uh, in this second video, we're going to make uh, a cabinet on the left hand side. We'll have a little cabinet off the front here that has all the things that I use when I'm using the table saw, as well as we're going to put a home for the jointer here. And uh, let's carry on, shall we? Now that I've got all the parts cut out, it's time to do the joinery. Now, uh, what I'm going to be doing is essentially just uh, dados uh, offset and kind of similar to the um, the 666, the Satan's drawer design from the box series that I did for Timbacon. So essentially, I've got that same setup, um, a six mil flat top blade. I'm gonna be setting it up six mil from the fence, uh, six mil up, right? Uh, you're going to see me using a uh, miter guide uh, in conjunction with the fence. Normally this is a big fat safety no-no, a do not do it, you'll get kickback. It'll twist in the thing and then it'll really throw it in your face and stuff you up. But because this isn't a through cut at all, uh, it's not going to be an issue, right? Uh, when we do get to the, the bits that I gotta stand them on end, I have made a jig. Uh, this guy here, you might have seen it in my Instagrammings of late, but it is just a fairly basic uh, mortise jig. Um, but I do have a little block that I made that uh, is a nifty little setup guide for this box joint design here. Uh, and I've got this all set up, so let's, uh, let's get to cutting. But first, we have to engage safety mode.
So the pin nailer is great for keeping them from wiggling about until you can get the big dogs out and put the clamp on to hold them tight properly. Do the other three, take it apart and paint it. Now we just have to uh, paint it all up and put it back together and then we'll do the big reveal. But first, I forgot to do the bit with the jointer. So let's do that now. Oops. this stuff built. The cabinet here that I've made, on the left hand side, we have uh, all the cleaning supplies, you know, we got the WD-40, we got some uh, shop towel, we got the good old dead blow mallet that we all need in our shop. Uh, I've got some scouring pads and I've got all the Protec tool stuff that I use to clean the machinery. Uh, on the right hand side, I have, you know, uh, a square and I've got a bunch of push blocks and whatnot. I'm missing a push block. Where are you? You go right there. Ta-da! See, when you're organized, you can tell right away when there's something missing, and then you can just go find it and put it away. 
Uh, in the bottom of the unit, I've got a little little uh, storage container that has all the uh, extra bits and bobs and the, the little tools that come with all the machinery that, that are pretty much in the whole workshop, uh, as well as my extra cans of WD-40, because you can never have enough cans of WD-40. In the front of the unit here, I've got, what do I got? Uh, I've got the power switch, obviously. <sighs> I've got uh, various push sticks and, and another square and, you know, whatnot. I got my gripper, I got some feather boards, that kind of stuff. So overall, this thing's worked out quite well, this cabinet. So far, I'm really loving this. Uh, the jointer, uh, for the most part, will be kind of pushed in flush with the front end of this, but when I need to use it, I can pull it straight out. Anyway, so that's this part two of this four-part series done and dusted. Keep an eye out for part three in which I make the router cabinet. Um, these are getting bigger and bigger every time. There you have it. If it's your first time here, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'm Phil Schimbein. This is Gradually Wizardly. Uh, and welcome to the beating heart of my workshop, I guess. You, we are currently in the left ventriole, I guess. The left aerial. No, not aerial. That's part of a boob. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. So, I suppose, yeah, it was the first year for me, the first financial year, I, um, I, did, I didn't even break even because I was, as you did, I really did.